So, controlled lighting within the smart home. What is controlled lighting? A typical home will have lots of circuits. Uh, a big house like this, we've got 150 odd circuits. Typical house, you know, 50 plus circuits. The way a house is normally wired is you have a standard switch on the wall, that's one light switch, one circuit. Rigid, you can't really change it on off or it is dimmable. Now the difference with uh, controlled lighting is, is that one button I can do several circuits. So today uh, the thinking is with the, with the advent of LED lighting, it's transforming what we do within the room. And it's not just about, I want to turn that light circuit on. I want, it's all about, I want to create a theme, a mood within the room. So now when I press a button, I just want to not just turn one circuit on, I want to turn several circuits on. Now typically in this room here, we've got a large open area room, we have what, 15 circuits in here, uh, all different, different lights. And the other thing where with control lighting is when you, if you're building a house from, from scratch, is you don't have to think about uh, you know, what do you want to cut the light switch, because it, it, it's rigid. Uh, you have to think about your first fixed stage when you're putting all the cable in the house. You need to know, right, I want to control these lights from this point, those lights from over there. With this system, it doesn't really matter because any one of these, I can control any circuit in the entire house. So I don't necessarily have to think about it now, I can always think about it later. So in the traditional way of wiring, we would end up having 15 light switches on the wall there and it would look a right mess. So instead, uh, we have some nice neat buttons which we can then program the scenes together on the switch. Uh, we have a maximum of six on this, on this particular one. Uh, we use all different types of finishes. This is control four, so these are different finishes that you can get, different colour buttons, and you can make about how you want it. Uh, you get them engraved, but we don't do that straight away because when we first put the, uh, the, the design, the lighting circuits, the buttons, what they do, is it may not be how you want them. Because you need to live in the house first, because you won't know yourself what you want until you actually live in the house and decide, okay, I want that button to do this, or want that button to do that, you can change it. So that's the beauty of control lighting. You can change your mind, and you can put whatever uh, lighting circuit on there in the, entire, in the entire house. You may want to say, well, you know what, I want to, I want to control the patio lighting outside. You can do that because it's centralised. Some people come to me with concerns about control lighting because it is a bit of a leap of faith because moving from you know a traditional way of doing lighting circuits to, to a new way. Um, yes, this is all nice and neat. Yes, it's a great idea that you can program different circuits and, uh, and change your mind and all that sort of thing. But you know, what happens if it fails? You know, what happens if the controller goes down? So. That's just a little bit of explanation of actually, you know, you know how it's wired and how it's controlled. So, so controlled lighting, how, how is it wired differently? Traditionally, we have circuits within a room and they are wired down to light switches that are in the room. Different circuits doing different, different switches doing different circuits. Whereas with controlled lighting, all we're saying is, is instead of coming down to a switch, they're all going to one central location. So once you're in a central location, that's how we can then say, right, I can now manage those circuits from anywhere in the house. So what we do then is, from the control panel down, uh, down there in the centre, we have you know, the keypads of the wall, or the touch screens on the wall, or even because it's connected to the network of the house, we can then control them on the, on the phones as well, because everything now goes to a central location. Let's take a look. So here we are at a, an example of a lighting panel. It's still a work in progress, but it's probably quite good because I can show you the, the cables. These are the cables, circuits that go around to all the circuits in the house, the lighting circuits in the house. And these here are the dimmer packs. These are basically the dimmer modules that you would normally have within the light switch in the wall. And every one of these buttons is a lighting circuit, which effectively it would have, been, would have been the light switch on the wall in the kitchen. So here is uh, eight circuits. That would have been eight switches on a wall upstairs in the house. So now you've got those nice neat buttons now, and all it's doing is saying, okay, 
I'm in the kitchen, I want to control circuit number 34, which is this button on here, and it controls it. I can actually press this, and it controls it, just like as if I, if I was in the kitchen pressing the light switch. So for those people who come to me and say, oh, I'm a bit concerned about, you know, how secure is it, how reliable is it, is, will a controller fail? The very rare, very, very rare controller will fail because this is a hardwired circuit. So if anything did freeze up, the controller or anything, you will always be able to come back down to here and actually turn them on manually. So you'll never be without lights. Uh, and down here is your traditional breakers. So if you do have a, if you do have a, a power surge or anything, it will just trip here as well. So once we've you know, programmed all the circuits, tied up all these, um, we'll put the uh, covers back on. Uh, this is partly back on, uh, and it would you know, look something like this. So how do all those keypads around the whole house communicate with the circuits? Well, what they are is they're all wired, like the circuits, down to here, down to the panel. In fact, actually to this bus gateway down here. That's how they're now able to say, when you want to turn on circuit 35, it goes to 35 there and controls it. So all these lighting panels don't necessarily need to be all in the same place. Uh, we've got two here, uh, we've got two more in the plant room, uh, and also we've actually got two more in the garage. So it's totally expandable, you can add on to the system as much as you like, it's never ending. And, and all you need between these panels is just basically a, uh, a, a Cat6, Cat5 cable connecting to the network. Because again, like we keep on saying, a network within a home is very, very, very important.